Yesterday, I mentioned that nobody expected the Minnesota Twins to go 162-0, and today, I'll say nobody expected them to go 161-1. and I promise I will not keep up this bit for the next six months. Rubber match in Miami today. Former teammates Pablo Lopez and Jesus Lazardo now dueling on the pitcher's mound. Top seven down by one. Trevor Larnick loops an RBI single to left. Tie game. Lopez struck out eight batters today. Just the one earned run against his name, but when he stepped out in the eighth, Brian De La Cruz with two runners on base brings in the go-ahead run and puts two runners in scoring position. That's when it got away from the Twins. Jorge Soler, a three-run shot. His second dinger of the game was smashed 409 feet to left field. Kyle Farmer scored on a wild pitch in the ninth, but that was all. Marlins take the series, home opener at Target Field on Friday. The Surrey Mustangs started last baseball season with one win and three losses. And then they turned the season around and shocked many by going on a win streak and qualifying for state. For your United Community Bank Athlete of the Week, the answer is right under his nose. Will Mayo. <laughs> Uh, plays a peculiar part on Surrey's baseball team. Yeah, I can hit the ball pretty well, but I'm probably more known for just scooping the ball and making a good defensive play. Last year, he wasn't too proud of his peach fuzz. That started last year, and he just kind of thought he couldn't grow a mustache, so he put the stick paint on. I must ask you a question. <laughs> Coach looks at me and shakes his head and has a smile. We had to win that one, otherwise I was never doing it again. What started as a stunt turned into a superstition. After winning like so many games and stuff, you just gotta keep it going. And I think that really helped us win, honestly. The Mustangs went on a nine game win streak. Once you get a win streak with it, you gotta keep it. They won 14 of 15 games to end the regular season. I feel like I'm the man when I got the mustache on. Teammates and opponents caught on. They asked me how their mustache looked and I just said mine's always going to be better. Mayo, the Mustangs, and no, his mustache so made bad. a trip to state. I think that's perfect. <laughs> this mustache is absurd. It was the team's first state B in two decades. He's good at sports, right? And I was a little intimidated, but then like, once you get to know him, like, he's kind of just a teddy bear. He's a nice guy. Mayo's mustache mania <laughs> was a home run. <laughs> Will has already secured an apprenticeship after he graduates from Surrey in the spring. The Mustangs are scheduled to open the season in Garrison on Tuesday. See how the weather lets up. Tomorrow, the Masters begins in Augusta, Georgia. And every year since 1960, the golfers have competed in a par three contest. North Dakota's Tom Hoagie aced the eighth hole and ended up winning the competition. He features players, wives, girlfriends, and other family members outfitted in the classic white caddy jumpsuits on